Hey everyone. So ever since high school, I've been in love with the martial arts. The history, culture, and lessons that all of the martial arts styles give to the practitioners. And I believe that the lessons taught in the martial arts styles can be applied to all aspects of life, and that includes your software development career. So in this video, I want to detail a couple of martial arts lessons and also how they can help your software development career. And these lessons can also be applied to just life in general, really. And so I hope you can learn one or two things from these lessons that you can incorporate into your life. All right, so the first thing is uh, be like water. And you may have heard this from Bruce Lee. In fact, there's actually a fairly popular inspirational video about it. This is what it is, okay? I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Now this is saying to keep your mind open to new things and new ideas. And doing this will allow you to see things differently and within a new perspective. And by being like water, you can approach your work with more open and flexible mindsets. And this can help you learn new technologies and programming languages and frameworks, as well as to be able to adapt to changes in project requirements or timelines. And being like water also means being able to collaborate effectively with others. Just as water can flow together to create a powerful stream, software developers can work together to create something greater than the sum of their individual parts. Now, along with this lesson, there's also one called Empty Your Cup. And there's an interesting story from Shannon Lee, who is Bruce Lee's daughter, from her book called Be Water, My Friend. So a learned man once went to a Zen master to inquire about Zen. As the master talked, the learned man would frequently interrupt him with remarks like, oh yes, we have that too, and so forth. Finally, the Zen master stopped talking and began to serve tea to the learned man. However, he kept pouring and the teacup overflowed. Enough, no more can go to the cup, the learned man interrupted. Indeed, I see, answered the Zen master. If you do not first empty your cup, how can you taste my cup of tea? And this story illustrates that in order to learn new things, you should try not to be preoccupied with your own thoughts, judgments, or experiences before you learn something new. And you may feel like you know something, but you may more often don't. And this kind of thinking keeps you from learning. This concept also relates to what martial artists call beginner's mind, which we'll get to later in the video. All right, the next lesson is that it takes years to be an expert. And you may have heard about the 10,000 hour rule that was popularized in Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers. And since that came out, there has been somewhat debunked and it's not quite the, the hours that matters, but rather how you practice. In which Anders Ericsson from his book, Peak, coined the term deliberate practice. Now, with this kind of practice, you can master a lot of things. However, this still shows that it does take a lot of time to be an expert in anything. And within martial arts, it can take around 10 years or so to become a black belt when you start. And even then, there's a lot to learn when you're a black belt. And there's even a quote that says, a black belt is just a white belt that never quit. And it also suggests that when you're a black belt, you really start learning the martial art since you've learned all the fundamentals from the white belt until the black belt. And this concept can also apply to software development. It really does take years to be an expert in something. And even then, there's still plenty to learn. You may have over 10 years of experience in a programming language or a framework. And there's always stuff to learn from it. Not to mention if there are new versions that you still need to learn that keep coming out. But this also should show that because you don't know something specific about a language or framework, doesn't mean that you're not good at it. Though. Now, along with this, there is a Japanese term called Kaizen, and that means continuous improvement. And it's a philosophy that emphasizes the importance of making small incremental changes to improve processes and systems over time. And by continuously improving processes and systems, uh, you stay competitive and adapt to changing market conditions. If you've read James Clear's Atomic Habits, you would notice that the concept of Kaizen creeps in there. And there's a graph that shows that if you have just 1% improvement, you will actually come out being 37 times better at the end of a year. And that's a huge improvement, but it's so small that each day we don't recognize how big of a difference it is. And for software development, now that you know what Kaizen is, doesn't it kind of sound a little bit familiar? Does it sound like 
the agile methodology where you incorporate small changes into a product to help improve it and each iteration you keep making those small incremental changes to make the product better and the last lesson here is that beginner's mind that i touched on earlier and this is beneficial because it allows you to approach situations with an open and curious mindset and when we are new to something we don't have these biases that can cloud our judgment and it allows us to see things from a fresh perspective and helps us come up with even more creative solutions and so as an expert in something you may already know so like some of the rules that you may immediately dismiss an idea because it just won't work but as a beginner you don't know those rules yet so you would try something anyway and who knows it just might work All right uh, so just uh, kind of something different here uh, i love the martial arts and the lessons and philosophies that it can teach you uh, if you made it this far uh, how about uh, give me like a fist bump emoji in the comments and, and, and let me know if you like this kind of content and i'll talk to y'all later